Hey guys, it's Sebastian from Ask Sebi, and today we are going to do a room tour of an overwater villa at the Waldorf Astoria in the Maldives. Waldorf Astoria is part of Hilton Group, so if you have Hilton points or those weekend certificate nights, this is going to be one of the best use cases for 2019 and probably for 2020. As always, before we dive into it, if you want to support the channel, if you like videos like this about redeeming points, give this a thumbs up. If you want to follow our journey, go to our Instagram, Ask Sebi, and we have a bunch of stories over there. I'm going to start off with the view because people always ask about this, and we do have a sunset room and an amazing view. Some hammocks if you want to lay on them, and they're surprisingly comfortable compared to some of the other properties. Doing a quick pan of the rest of the room, you can see how gigantic it is, and there's also a pool right over there. This is going to be for two people, and for most of the other rooms that you see on this property, so even the rooms that are not over water, they are going to be similar size, and it's a pretty good experience, it's pretty grand. Some seats over here, and then that's going to be the door that leads into the general area, so the rest of the bungalows. Entrance over here. We'll head back to the pool in a second, but I figured I'd show off this part first. So the island is gigantic. It's pretty much all the way through. And we did a GoPro test. If you take a buggy, so the little carts, from here to the main lobby, it's seven minutes. I'd recommend calling a buggy or using the bikes. We did end up booking this using three weekend certificate nights that work on Friday night, Saturday night, as well as Sunday nights, and also 120,000 points for that fourth night. We did not get a fifth night free because you only get that when you're using four nights worth of points. Certificate nights don't really work like that. And the funny thing too is that we actually have four different one night reservations. Given how those certificate nights work still though, I think it's one of the best redemptions for your points or for those nights. Given that you actually get that by having the Spire card and paying that $450 annual fee or spending $15,000 on the Surpass card. You have a little cool swing over here if you want to enjoy the view. And also here is the gigantic pool. We booked into the default basic room and then we ended up getting upgraded to this overwater room. I talked to two other people who have diamond status who also got similar upgrades during the happy hour cocktail thing that is also free if you have status. So I think it's either that we got very lucky or this is a week that's not too busy. Typically, if you want upgrades like this, I'd recommend coming during shoulder season versus peak season because during Christmas time, it's going to be fully booked up at 100% occupancy. Right now, it's a bit easier to get upgrades since it's not as full. Some little birds, and this is going to be very stupid. That's going to be the ladder to get into the water, and you can see the darker water over there. That's going to be the deep part. This is going to be the shallow parts. Other guests did mention seeing dolphins today, so I might try to head out there before it gets completely dark if I can finish off this video. Last little bit about credit card stuff before we head on inside is I would really recommend having at least gold status or diamond status of Hilton before coming here just because that helps you save a ton of money with breakfast. One of the biggest costs for resorts and stuff like this and the Maldives in particular is going to be food. So having that status, even if you just have something like the Surpass card at $95, that's going to make it very worthwhile. If you want to learn about any credit cards, so probably American Express Hilton ones, very easy way to support our channel would be to use the links that are on our website, asksebi.com or the ones down below in the description box. I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds to enjoy the sunset just because this is beautiful. I'm actually going to get into the water because I think there was dolphins and I just want to do some quick GoPro shots. See you guys inside in a few minutes. And that was a pretty awesome sunset. On this side is going to be a shower area that you can use if you want to rinse off after going into the ocean. 
But we'll start off from the main door because I think it looks a lot more epic. A little sneak peek of what is inside. And I think you can tell that this place is gigantic. And it is only meant for two people. So you have a lot of room to sprawl around and enjoy yourself. If you're still watching and you haven't liked the video yet, smash that thumbs up button, supports the channel a ton. First thing you'll notice is going to be how long the building is as well as the super high ceilings. Over here is going to be your water, your coffee, as well as any other items you want. We'll probably be sticking with the water and the coffee. Lots of different choices for coffee. As well as teas. Over here we have a Mandy sobering up from happy hour before dinner time. I'm having coffee time right now. Coffee time with Mandy. Cheers. We have this desk area with a bunch of different welcome amenities. Rosé. So actually some fancy rosé, which is pretty unusual compared to a lot of other hotels. Some dessert items as well, and also a fruit basket over here. And a computer over here working to back up some stuff. On this side, you have this gigantic couch area. You could probably fit four people here very comfortably and this gigantic TV. Pretty big TV. Pretty new property, so there are going to be a ton of different buttons you can press to do pretty much everything that you want. Maybe we should leave that closed. Yeah. Over here, we have another gigantic TV, which I think is about the same size. You have two different chairs over here that are very comfortable if you want to watch the sunset or if you just want to enjoy the view without having to actually sit outside, especially if you're overheating. Another little area over here that has the hairdryer and the bed is going to be right over here. I'm pretty impressed by this room and how they're using all the space. The only other ones that I've been into that are this big tend to be for more people. So this is a big thumbs up for me. So if you think of that as the living room and this as the bedroom, we have the bathroom. Or I guess this is the closet first. And this is very cool. So it's going to be a view of underneath the bungalow. And you can see a bunch of fish right now. There's actually a lot of really big fish at night, which we didn't really see during the day. And I'm guessing they're over here because it's a bit warmer now. Closet over here, which has a sensor for activation for the lights. And on this side, we have a safe, a bag that you can bring around the property, scale, and also some shoes and ironing board if you need to iron anything. Some robes if you want to lounge around. The final part of it is going to be this bathroom area, which is similarly impressive. You have this tub over here, as well as his and her sink in fronts. So the tub is surprisingly big, and I like that it's kind of a unique shape. You also have a view of the outside, like all of the other little sections. So a pretty big tub, and you could probably fit two people very comfortably, or you can have a lot of space to sprawl out for yourself. There's also some bath salts, as well as a bunch of other body wash and pretty much everything else you expect. <sighs> Guys, am I influencing correctly? Mandy's not laughing at my joke. <laughs> yeah, pretty big egg-shaped tub. Over here we have his and her sink and one cool thing is that some of the items are going to be from Ferragamo, which I didn't really even realize made soap. So Tuscan Soul by Ferragamo. So some very fancy soap if that's your thing. The remaining amenities though seem like the normal white label stuff that most of the other high-end hotels use. His and hers. These are also really heavy and they look really cool. Over here we have a toilet, so step on in. Pretty cool little system. If you've been to Japan or some other countries, you might have used one of these before. More stuff by Ferragamo and also a pretty intense looking shower. If you want to change the mode, there's four different options. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that before. How do you like the room, Mandy? Thumbs up. 
Five out of five? 13 oh. out of 10. Hopefully this room tour was helpful and if you have any questions that are related to this video, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get to them. My question for you guys is what are your thoughts on the room and what do you like about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you want to learn about any credit cards and you want to support our channel, we do have links that are on our website, asksebi.com, as well as down below in the description box. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And if you know anyone who will find this information useful, feel free to share it with them. See you guys next time. You got the outro. Are you going to do some B-roll of the yacht right now? Little yachty? Not little yachty. The yacht ride. Okay, yeah, we'll do some B-roll of the yacht ride and how we got here. Go!